Carol? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Bandit Man HQ, which is my garage. Now this garage is just a single skin, uh, brick built garage, it doesn't have any heating in. And it's where we keep our bikes most of the time. And if we're not riding, we keep them here. Both bikes are, are cleaned, but I'll show you the problem of storing them in an unheated garage. I mean, bear in mind, my wife's bike's been in here several days now, and it's been quite cold during the night. But I don't know if you can see, look. The condensation. Can you see the wet? All over it. That bike was put in here dry, yet, it's wet now and uh, the problem is condensation it's been really really cold freezing for a few nights now it's just got a bit warmer and uh, this is what happens and the benefit of putting them in the vehicle dome is that once they're locked in this dome there's a fan on the dome and the fan is pushing air into the dome which leaks out through the zip and basically keeps an airflow past your bike which stops the condensation from forming so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish cleaning both bikes down and I'm gonna do that with WD-40 both bikes are quite clean at the moment they've been washed some time ago and I'm going to apply ACF 50 loads of videos on the internet I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to show you applying that but basically I'm going to just make sure that the bikes are cleaned ACF 50 applied and then I'm going to set the dome up and uh, I'll come back to you and show how it works I wouldn't normally recommend getting inside a big plastic bag but as soon as air is being pumped in there I think I'm fairly safe. The whole idea of this system, so I'm led to believe by the guy that sold it to me at last year's NEC show, is that you put your nice clean bikes, which are there, your nice clean bikes in here, and you get them in by unzipping all the way around. put the plastic dome over the top, zip it back up, hook the electricity up, so the pump's pumping, and inflates this. This basically keeps all the dust off it, but the bigger thing is it keeps, I don't know if you can hear that, it keeps air flowing by the bike. So if you imagine the air is coming in, it's keeping the moisture off the bikes. So what I showed earlier, when I uh, went round Carol's bike, Carol's bike was wet from just sitting in here for a few days. With it being cold at night, condensation forms, and obviously that attracts rust, and it's not great, is it, for a damp, you know, to have something damp all winter, especially if it's not being used. So the idea of this is to keep the motorcycles dry and that's what we're trying to achieve. Okay guys, well, bikes are in. So I'll give you a quick look round look. Put carpet in the bottom this year, just to be a bit kinder to the tyres. You can see the uh, fan here and there's a filter that's filtering the air going into the dome so you just give that a clean once a year all the dust sticks to that so it's powered by a I think probably something like a 12 volt uh, power supply on the transformer 
inside I've took the uh, ground anchor through the uh, where the zips meet together with the power supply for the uh, for the battery tenders and that's all you need to do positive pressure in the dome all the time that waft of air going by the bikes it just keeps the condensation off the bikes like I say that air just drifts out through the uh, zip all the way around I had the bikes in there for a couple of months this time last year they came out perfectly dry even though it was really cold and I don't I don't put any heat on in this garage so uh, as you can see it's quite a big dome uh, we bought it to uh, to get the third bike in and uh, if you've seen the uh, previous video you'll uh, you'll know where the XSR currently is and I'll put a link to that video there so it is big enough to get three bikes in and uh, I'll probably move that back in here in a bit so it's not too much of a problem to get them back out so it's just a case of knocking the electric up unzipping it chucking the plastic top over so because I use this as a bit of a workshop for my business as well I make quite a bit of dust in here keeps them dust free keeps them dry keeps them secure because they're locked up keeps the batteries charged up um, I think it's as good as you can do and uh, I've been really impressed with the dome I was very skeptical for a start but uh, I give it top marks to be honest with you so anyway thanks a lot again for watching and uh, catch up with you on the next video cheers for now bye bye